Are you ready? Round number five of the European Chess Club Cup recap of my game. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm Chess Grandmaster and this is my YouTube channel. And today we will watch together the recap of round number five in the European Chess Club Cup. I played with the black pieces against a very strong international master from Slovakia in a wild game full of attacks, counterattacks, blunders and surprising moments. Before we dive in, take a moment to pause the video and guess the result of the match. Do you think I managed to come on top? And as always, if you're enjoying these recaps, I really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to the channel to support. And you know, I really want to get from you the motivation to keep going. So now let's jump into the game and see how it's all unfolded. So I played with the black pieces, as I said, and D4 was the move. I played against Samir Sahidi. Yeah, with rating of 2481. Knight f6, c4, e6, and knight f3. And now I play the move bishop b4. And uh, of course, there are several options here. For example, d5, b6, maybe c5. Uh, but I'm playing here maybe bishop b4 check. And now knight bd2. Here there is a move bishop d2. And here you have so also some options to play a5, queen e7, c5. I don't know, maybe bishop takes d2, another move. Um, but here, you know, uh, you know, overall, I think after bishop d2, the main move, you know, uh, that I suggest for you is c5 or a5. Uh, it's interesting. And also queen e7, looking very interesting for for me at least. But after bishop b4, knight bd2, and now I just castled, and e3 was played. The main here move is a3, of course. After bishop e7, the move e4, d6, bishop d3, or bishop e2. And the point here for black is to play the move knight fd7 with e5 and after it a5 with knight a6, knight c5 if he's playing the move d5. So it's very important and interesting solution here for black to play such, such position. Um, I really recommend you to see some games here with the black pieces if you like. Uh, so it, it seems that you know white has the full control in the opening here uh, in the center of the board, but of course black will not give up, right? He will play knight of d7 with e5. Interesting ideas here. So he played a move after castle. He played a move e3, and this was at least a little bit surprise for me. But you know I saw this position uh, in my preparation. I don't know why, but I saw this one, and I thought that. I remember that d5 was the move that uh, my opponent, my engine, of course, suggests for me. But in the game, I thought that after a3, bishop e7, I was not sure what I played after b4. Uh, and, you know, I started to, to analyze this position in my head, of course, and I thought maybe a5, b5, but I was not sure how I'm playing here. Maybe c5 here. This is the best uh, for black. And you know, surely after b6, bishop b7, knight bd7, rook c8, black is totally fine here, at least uh, equal position. So, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think after e3, the best here, just d5. Uh, this is the best move here. And of course, after a3, bishop e7, for example, b3, he can play, but, you know, <clears throat> b c5, maybe b6, bishop b7, knight bd7. Uh, overall, everything will be under control here for black. So I play the move after e3, I play the move b6. And yeah, as you can see, eight minutes of thought. Uh, this one, I think, overall, this was a mistake. Uh, because after a3, bishop takes d2, and now uh, bishop e7 is not so good because I think e4 here. And after d6, I don't know, uh, you know, this diagonal and maybe some white squares. I'm not sure about this b6 move. Uh, but I just take the, po the, the knight, of course, on d2. Queen takes d2, and now bishop b7. And, you know, the point behind queen takes d2 was just to develop his bishop from b2, right? For example, b3 or b4 with bishop b2, and that's it. The bishop will be here very strong, and also bishop d3 next. So queen d2 makes sense. Bishop b7, b3 now, and now I play the move d6. Bishop b2, knight bd7, until now makes, makes sense for me, and bishop d3. So maybe you can ask yourself why I didn't took on f3 here. But overall, just g takes f3. 
And don't forget that he can also castle long side, right? Long castle with rook uh, d to g1, with h4, h5, this rook is doing perfect here with d5, bishop here, and also this diagonal is open. Uh, very scary for black, uh, at least, you know, the computer says, uh, you know, 0 0.9 here for white is just brilliant for in, in, in the 11 move, right? So after bishop d3, I didn't take it on f3. I thought maybe to play the move bishop e4. But I thought that he will play just bishop e2. And I was not sure that I really want to put the, to put the bishop on e4. So I played the move queen e7. Now we just castle. And I also, don't forget that after bishop f3, just g takes f3 with king h1, rook g1, right? And these two bishops will do a perfect job here. So I played the move knight e4. And after queen c2, just f5. So my uh, idea was just to bring the other rook to a8. Uh, from a8, sorry, to e8. And now just e5, or maybe some, I don't know, rook f6, rook h6, knight g5. Uh, you know, to think about such uh, attack in this diagonal. Uh, and also to have the possibility, because I have two knights in a close position, I have some strategic plan here, right? So after f5, he played the move rook a d1. And here I played the move rook a e8. And this was maybe my first, no, not my first, maybe my second, um, no mistake, but inaccuracy at least. I think rook f6 was a very inter oh sorry rook f6 was an interesting move to play here. And the point here that after rook g6 knight g5 you have so many plans here, so many attacks in this g file and also in this diagonal, right? And you already want to bring this rook into the game. And also don't forget that this rook on a8 will come to f8 and on f8 he will do a better job um uh, instead of e8, right? So now after d5 it's looking very strong for, for white, but just rook h6. And the point here that after bishop takes e4, just d takes e4, and now after queen takes e4, you have just rook f8 with a very strong and initiative position. You know, knight c5 will jump, e5 maybe, bishop c8, bishop f5, but in the, in the game I didn't understand uh, such position, and it's very complicated, of course, but it's very strong, I think. Uh, for black, the initiative here is strong one. So after rook ad1, I play the move rook ae8, and now knight e1. Uh, you know, I can tell you that I thought that he will play this move knight e1. And here I play the move knight e to f6. My point here was, first of all, uh, to think about the move bishop e4. And if I'm playing the move bishop e4 and exchanging these two bishops, the, this pair of bishops, I would uh, have the possibility, uh, you know, to, to feel the pressure in the strategic plan, right? Uh, because if white, you know, all of the, this position, um, white has the advantage because of the pair of bishops. And if I can control it and, uh, you know, like disturb this bishop from d3 and exchange it, it will be just fantastic for me in the long run, right? So uh, this first of all. And secondly, I thought maybe I have some plans to play knight h5 with f4. And, and it was not the best, but let's see. So he played the move f3, of course, just uh, avoid from bishop e4. And I'll play the move knight h5. Um, and yeah, this move was just um, to bring the opportunity uh, for my knight to jump to f4 in case he's playing the move e4. So for example, if he's playing the move e4 immediately, uh, that he, 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 he did it, right? So yeah, it was really my, um, um, my mistake, of course, after e4. Yeah, uh, you know, probably I, I thought that I will play the move queen g5 and after e4 I will have the possibility to play knight f4 and this knight will uh, do a very good job here. But after e4 immediately, I thought during the game that maybe I will play the move f4 with some options of playing e5 and, you know, in this closed position I have uh, a very good options and strategic plan because this bishop on d3 will not be good and this bishop on b2, right? But here after f4 there is a very annoying move e5 and I don't like it because now the bishop is just uh, controlling everything. This knight cannot go uh, back, right? So I thought to play g6 but here, I don't know, b4 with some, I don't know, rook f2 move and maybe some c5, rook c1. You know, black is is, is not uh, feeling well, right? Um, and also this bishop is, is not so good because it's closed, right? So yeah, e4, and here I, I did another mistake. Overall, I, I should have thought that, you know, I'm playing with the black pieces and I need to play very slow, very, um, you know, solid, right? Um, I need 
to play for equalizing the position and until that moment I didn't succeed to equalize the position so why I'm playing the move Queen G5 it's a mistake of course it's a mistake and why because you know why to attack here just play the move F takes E4 after bishop, of course, bishop takes, right? Because after, I don't know, f takes, it's just very bad. Rook takes f1, uh, I don't know, bishop takes, knight df6. Yeah, the pawns here. After bishop d3, I don't know, knight f4, e5. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing perfect here. Black is maybe close to win, right? So, of course, here, it just will take with the bishop. And, you know, I thought that I will take with my bishop in here. Queen takes and e5. But it's very, very equal position. I don't know, knight d3, e takes d4, um, queen takes d4, maybe queen f7 with knight hf6, equal position, right? This bishop is strong and, you know, maybe something about rook d1 to exchange a pair of, 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 not, of rooks, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm very tired because of my uh, job. Um, so, yeah, it, 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 it's really, really difficult here to understand, of course. So, uh, but of course... I felt in during the game that it's very equal position, at least. So I didn't I didn't had the the understanding that I really need to go for an equal position. I'm playing with the black pieces and white did everything until now fine. I don't need to play for a win. It's not how we are playing chess. When we are playing for a win, we need to lose. Remember it. So after e5, e4, I'm playing the move queen g5. And here just e takes f5 was played, e takes f5, and now queen d2. And I really like how my opponent played, just incredible, I think. Just offering me exchange of queens. And if I'm playing the move knight f4, uh, it's, it's really bad because of bishop c1, right? I have like the pinned uh, here. So I don't know what to play. Uh, I play the move f4 here, but the best, of course, was not to play the move f4. Just queen takes d2, rook takes d2, and remember... I need to play for an equal position. I don't need to to play like uh, attack and uh, you know like to play for for all in. No big no big big no. Now knight f4 for example g6 maybe g5 and maybe knight f6 maybe rook e7 rook e8. But you know somehow to control the position uh, how you know uh, in in the in in the, in my possible uh, variations here and the possibility right so after queen d2 i played the move f4 and this was of course another mistake he played the move d5 and here i played the move bishop c8 and this was a blunder a blunder ladies and gentlemen but now i will tell you that it's not so easy to understand why so the the best move here was to play the move 95 and of course i thought about it but i was not sure you know that it's so important and the point here that after knight e5 immediately, g4 is not so good as I'm playing the move bishop c8. And why? Because now knight f6, and I have some options of knight takes g4, knight f3, knight e g4, and it's very strong. But after bishop c8, he's playing the move g4, and it's a very strong move. Of course, unpassant f takes g3 is just losing the queen, right? So which move can I play? I play the move knight e5 here, and here... I have some problems. What can I say? What can I do? I thought that he will play move knight g2. I can tell you the truth. But now knight takes g4 is the best. After f takes g4, I'm just playing queen takes g4 with some f3, knight f4. You know, there is problems here. For example, king h1, f3, knight uh, e3, and now just rook takes e3, of course, we checkmate on the board. And if he's playing the move here, knight e1, yeah, f2, I think, yeah, f2. He's just winning the game because rook takes f2, just rook takes, queen takes, and rook queen takes d1. So yeah, it's, it's it's very complicated position and I have very good initiative here and attack because I'm just sacrificing a knight with the full attack here. With these two rooks, knight, bishop will come also, and a queen, and also, of course, the pawn just moving forward. So yeah, I, after knight e5, just bishop takes e5. And that's it. He's playing very strong and after 20 minutes of thought, he come to the conclusion bishop takes e5 is the best move and now d takes e5 was played by me and after rook takes e5 i i think that knight g2 is just winning uh, on a spot because after bishop takes g4 that i thought that i will play just h4 very strong move attacking the queen and i don't have any move to protect the bishop 
here uh, on g4 for example queen g6 oh sorry queen g6 or queen f5 just we have this bishop right so we're losing here absolutely after queen e7 just f takes g4 and white has a, a full piece up and also the pawn on f4 will grab uh, he will grab it very soon so yeah just game over so i play with d takes e5 um another thing that i really wanted to tell you let me ah okay yeah after knight g2 if i'm playing to move knight f6 because now uh, there is a threat of the knight if i'm playing knight f6 just uh, f4 and queen h6 and yeah g5 yeah that's it and the knight is gone so yeah d takes e5 was played and here if he's playing the move uh, uh, h4 that he played of course you know if he's playing the move knight g2 i thought that i'm playing the move bishop uh, e4 of course yeah and after bishop takes e4 just bishop uh, rook takes e4 of course f takes and bishop takes g4 yeah queen takes yeah queen takes is better queen takes with f3 yeah very strong initiative also bishop takes i think very strong with attacking this rook bishop h3 f3 after it uh, with queen g4 queen g6 maybe yeah uh, very strong initiative here for black so h4 was played instead of knight g2 uh, sacrificing uh, a pawn queen takes h4 and now g takes h5 and yeah bishop h3 was played by me rook f2 uh well, he was the best of course uh, i was sure that he will play this one but i was not sure that it's very simple here for for example queen g3 check king h1 e4 and after bishop takes a uh, bishop f5 and yeah of course it's not so easy for him but at least i have some options here um i i thought during the game that after rook f2 maybe i will play the move rook f6 and now a uh, bishop e4 rook h6 uh, but this bishop is very strong here and he's playing move rook h2 i don't know queen f2 knight g2 rook d2 and should be winning for for white uh, so yeah this is my first time in this tournament that i'm losing the position right i'm losing the game so let's see maybe i lost maybe i win you can write in the comment what do you think will happen so after bishop h3 uh, queen h2 was played and this was not the best and here i had a very strong uh, option e4 and after bishop takes e4 rook takes e4 f takes e4 and now queen g4 check and the point here that of course after king h1 just bishop takes f1 right and also this rook on d1 uh, is under attack but knight g2 of course but here f3 and this is very interesting uh, line here because i'm attacking this knight on a g2 the queen on h2 is not uh, so good and also the pawns here right the pawn on e4 rook e8 maybe with take and rook e2 i have a very good initiative here and the king on g1 is very weak here so yeah the the computer says something around draw something around equal but of course uh, in my opinion at least you know white is suffering here uh very very good uh, chances for black so yeah after queen h2 i didn't play it i played the move queen h5 after four minutes of thought and i think overall that i was not in my best shape in this game because you know i felt like that i'm not playing softly i'm not playing um yeah, slowly solely no i'm playing for a win i'm playing for the attack but why it's the most common mistake in chess it's bad bad idea to play for a win and of course with the black pieces so now knight g2 was playing um of course bishop e4 was also very strong oh, sorry very sh strong move yeah knight g4 now another time i had the opp opportunity to play e4 and after bishop takes rook takes f takes and f3 uh, and yeah the same thing yeah right queen g4 and uh, the next move and attacking this knight on h g2 sorry yeah so yeah uh, i'm not not playing good rook f6 was played now uh, in one minute i played yeah bad bad situation uh, you can see also the moves 25 moves with 15 minutes on my clock bad really bad king f2 rook h6 and now rook h1 he played it very strong queen g5 yeah i i don't have any uh, moves here and ideas i played the move queen g5 and now bishop e4 was played i thought that he will play move queen h3 and i can tell you that i thought that i will play here e4 move and after bishop takes e4 uh, I didn't thought about g6. I thought that I will sacrifice it. Uh, F takes and queen e5, and I was not sure that it's so easy for for white because I have g4, g5, g4, queen takes e4, queen b2. You know this queen is very strong piece here. Uh, but of course the computer says that I'm an idiot and just d6 with rook 3, d th uh, rook h to d3 and white is probably winning plus two something around this. But uh, you know 
in my opinion, uh, it was an interesting choice to play like this. Uh, but after, yeah, queen g5, he didn't took on h3, he played the move bishop e4 immediately, and now I played the move queen e7, attacking the pawn on a3 with queen c5 checks ideas, uh, b4, a5, queen takes h3, rook takes, rook takes, and a takes b3, b4, and now we play the move d6, very strong one, uh, because he don't want to let my queen coming into the game, right? So d6, c takes d6, and a, uh, a takes b4, I was sure that he will play, and after g6, I don't know, it's complicated position because I have queen a7, maybe, I don't know, king g7 with d5 uh, to control and attack this pawn on b4, maybe uh, b5 and from c5, something around this, I don't know, very interesting position to play and at least should be better for white, uh, but he played the move bishop takes h7 and here I had like the feeling that, okay, I will do it, I will do the unbelievable and I will win it, let's see how it goes. So I'm playing king, move king f7 and now a takes b4 and rook a8 was played by me, I'm just bringing the rook into the game and my opponent has only one minute on the, his clock. So I'm bringing the rook, rook e2 check, queen g5, checkmate, he's coming, bishop b1 and now d5 was played, and I really like this move, just, just attacking, attacking with all my pieces, c takes d5, queen takes b4, Rook h to h1, and here I was just winning, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't saw it, but yeah, of, of course, queen b2 was my first uh, thought here, and I played it. And after king g1, I played a very bad move. I played the move g5, and this was a crazy mistake. I think, not a mistake, just a blunder. Rook a1, just winning the game uh, brilliantly, right? Attacking this bishop on b1, but king h2, of course, I saw it, but here there is just amazing move for black. e4. Wow, right? Because bishop g6 is the threat, right? Attacking this rook, uh, we check, of course. So e4, and after bishop takes e4, rook e2, yeah? Attacking the pawn, uh, the, the knight, of course, on g2, rook h to g1, and here, g5. Slowly move with Queen h8, checkmate, threats, unbelievable, yeah, uh, just shocking, bishop f5, queen h8, bishop h3, and then just queen h4, with queen g3, the game is over, immediately, so yeah, I, yeah, I missed it, I missed it, and I was like, I felt like I'm not, I'm not playing good, I'm, I'm not in my best shape, I'm not uh, calm, I feel like I'm very, um, you know, stressed, yeah, it was not my game, g5 was playing, and now rook h7, check, king g8, and d6, and the pawn is running, and it was very surprising for me, because I don't know what to do, d7, d8, and he's winning, g4, d7, rook d8, of course, and now rook e7 was played, and here was just amazing, yeah, I, I felt like it should be better for me, but so many lines, uh, to consider. I played the move king f8, rook h7 coming back and three time repetition and we agreed to a draw but here after rook h7 I, I saw the best move here, queen e2 attacking this rook on uh, d1 and I was sure that after rook h8 uh, king g7, rook takes d8, queen takes d1, king h2 I didn't find anything here for black, because I thought that after g3, of course, king h3, and that's it, I don't see anything here, uh, bishop f5, the next move, rook is going, and d8, queen, yeah, I don't know, um, probably something around queen takes b1, rook g8, check, takes, queen d8, and, you know, like, some repetition here, but, um, let's come back, yeah, after king h2, there is a brilliant move, g takes f3, that, of course, I saw, but knight h4, I thought, and now f2, just going forward with queen g1 checkmate threats. Knight f5, I thought, king f6, and now rook f8 check, and king e6, the only move, yeah. And yeah, here, black is just winning. After promoting a queen, queen g1 check, king h3, promoting another queen, uh, king h4, and just queen h, uh, oh, sorry, queen f2. Queen f2 is losing for black. Can you believe it? King h5, and here, just knight h4. No, it's just amazing. Now white is winning. Wow, unbelievable. Yeah, but here just queen h2 check, right? Queen h2 check, and here just checkmate, yeah, on like this, right? And if he's going to g5, uh, the same, right? So, yeah. 
yeah just mate in two so so yeah queen h2 just winning the game absolutely yeah all of this i saw in the game but yeah something i think that f2 i missed f2 ideas with queen g1 with promoting with check i missed this one yeah unfortunately uh, there is some lines here uh, of course after king g7 he doesn't uh, must take this rook on d8 he can play the move rook e1 and here queen d2 i saw this line because now after rook takes d8 just g takes f3 and this is winning for black uh, attacking also the knight we checkmate also queen takes c1 checkmate so this position is winning i saw this line but here after queen d2 there is a very strong move rook h5 and i was not sure that he will see it you know after the game i saw this analysis and i was not sure it's not so easy for, for white uh, to catch this rook g5 the only move and after uh, king f6 rook f5 king e6 rook uh, e5 the only move and now king d6 rook d5 uh, takes 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 knight e5 and now yeah probably should be should be draw right king f2 rook d7 yeah should be draw but at least he should have uh, you know calculate a lot of variations and find all of this so yeah uh, after rook king g8 we just uh, repeat uh, three time repetition and draw a grid and what can i say ladies and gentlemen i was not so happy with this game i must admit um but overall it's it was like a very uh, intense game right you know it, it was for me at least you know some game that was not a good game right and i feel that i was stressed i i was not uh, concentrated 100 percent and i can tell you also another thing that I feel that I was not uh, feel good. Uh, my stomach um, uh, hit, uh, of course, in this tournament. So you know, in this uh, round, I, I was not sure that everything is under control and I'm playing good. And yeah, it, it was not my game. So let's go uh, at least to see what our team did. Right? We played against a very strong team from uh, Slovakia, and uh, we won. Four and a half against one and a half. Grandmaster Viktor Michalewski won his game. Also, Grandmaster Alon Greenfeld and also Grandmaster Evgeny Posny won. And me, Kobo and Huzman drew. Uh, and yeah, we achieved a very important and strong win against a very strong team from Slovakia with four uh, international master and two FIDE master. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, you know don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel i really want to thank you for watching this was one of the most intense games of my tournament um, and it was a thrill to go through it with you and um, so don't uh, forget also to hit the notification bell to not miss the upcoming rounds we have only two rounds left in this tournament uh, and things are getting more exciting so let me know in the comments if you are guessed the right outcome and the result uh, of my game and also the match. Uh, and as always, stay tuned for more recaps of the European Chess Club Cup. See you soon. Bye-bye.